popular web browser, Surfcube 3D Browser, is about to be updated to Mango in about a week from now. And we have our hands on with the Beta 2 version of the Mango app. So this beta is a private beta right now, so unless you actually got the email from the developer, you can't actually try out this beta yourself. But we can say that has some major improvements. And we shot a video of Beta 1, and that was already really great with all the Mango resuming features. But Beta 2 has made the app even smoother. It just feels a lot smoother to switch to there, and they added some new features in the favorites where it's easier to see if you tap this button, it'll open in a new tab. So say we want to open Neowin, it opens in a new tab instead of the same tab. And also another major new change they made is this bottom bar here. In the first beta, it used to have the typical icons, but now they moved it to a small, small bar, which is really great because it takes up way less space. And they actually added the ability to change your lock orientation so that the phone won't tilt when you have that lock orientation set. And you can actually click all those things right there if you have a decently big screen and you can actually touch those with your fingers. Otherwise you can of course bring the menu up and touch them. But it's really easy to just tap these and get to what you want in case you don't like using the swipe gestures. Also another new feature that was shown off was the ability to change how links open in a website. So if you tap and hold and switch to the page, you can tell the page to open in a new tab or in a background tab. So if you set that page to open in a new tab, then when you click an article, it'll of course open a new tab there. And then you have two tabs, so that's really easy to use. And closing tabs is also faster now in the beta 2. Just click close. It's a little faster. It's still not super media, but it's pretty fast. And, of course, it has the background opening tabs feature, which is shown off in beta 1. But if you tap that, it actually starts to open in the background, so you could be reading through, and you could select a few articles that looks good to you, and then you could go check out your tabs, and they'll all be open and already loaded for you. So they're overall really great improvements, and the app is looking a lot easier to use than the actual Mango browser itself. Within about a week from now, Surfcube should be officially released with a Mango version, and it'll probably cost $1.99 for the paid version, or there's a free version that you can download. Nevertheless, you can download Surfcube right now. It's available for $1.99 or for free with the free ad-supported version.